Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. Well, this one's about the police, the Metropolitan Police in particular. But I think it's a, it's a symptom of an overall problem across this nation of ours. I, I can relate to some very recent personal experience. As I've said in the past, if, if something piques my attention, I'll go looking and I will find truth. I will find information. I might think, ooh. Well, somebody very close to me was a victim of a crime. And when this crime occurred, I was there very quickly. Because of previous life experience, I realized if you have to act quickly while the evidence trail is still hot and everything else. And it was quite a serious issue. And within an hour, I had a name of a suspect, I had a witness, I had a location, I had CCTV uh, camera points, I had everything, enough for what they would say in America was probable cause. You could arrest them. Well, do you know what? When I turned all this over and liaised with the police officer, it took about three months before the culprit actually ended up in an interview room, and a further, I think, over a year before they were even convicted of anything at all. And I thought, what has happened? What has happened? And the police are so overwhelmed. They don't have the numbers, and those that do are so overwhelmed with individual piles of cases and all the bureaucracy with the CPS and everything else. I wouldn't want their job. And you find that they end up not not dealing with crimes that they should. And then you get various uh, sectors of society who are left in danger because the police will not respond. The amount of times they go, oh, sorry, it's a civil matter. We're not going to deal with that, sir or madam. It's not really the reassurance you want to hear at the end of the phone. Well, this is a bit of a first, this story. Have a look at this, right? Uh Marks and Spencer's burglar is first to be jailed by private prosecution. This caught my eye after the Met failed to investigate a crime. Now, this thief was caught on CCTV stealing 500 pounds of meat and 20 bottles of Prosecco. Not cheap in Marks and Spencer's from a supermarket in Streatham. But Scotland Yard decided not to investigate and this particular individual here had 105 previous convictions including 33 burglaries now a burglary is a very serious offense a bit like fraud or anything like that you know the the consequences of it can be uh life-changing for those involved now this person has previous and a lot of previous which tells me that they don't care about the law. Some people that are charged, convicted, and even imprisoned even carry on as if nothing happened before, like they're invincible. Not always the case, is it? Well, this thief was caught uh, by a private, I suppose you could call it police firm, called TMI, as in TM and I, as in I for an I. And it was a private company founded by uh, a former Scotland Yard Detective Chief Inspector. Now, why in this day and age is there the need for a private police service? The firm took on the case after he'd broken into the supermarket and stolen what I told you, and the Metropolitan Police, having assessed the situation, never sent anyone out to deal with it. Uh, TMI has su successfully prosecuted 280 shoplifters, but this is the first time it successfully mounted a prosecution. Uh, he was jailed for a year for four burglaries and one, in, one assault on an MS employee. And as I said, he was arrested by two detectives from something called My Local Bobby, part of the TMI, which provides uniformed and plain clothes detectives who patrol shopping areas for retailers. Now, I was told by a retired police officer a long time ago that if things progress the way they do now, you will get vigilante groups made up of retired police officers, ex-army personnel, doing exactly this. And this is a prime example of it. Now, if they, we've seen a lot about two-tier policing from, you know, the news, uh, YouTubers, Paz uh, being one of them, go check out what he says. 
And if you end up with that situation and people feel that the system isn't working anymore, they're going to do something in a different way. And this is a prime example of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, if you've got social media, I wouldn't mind a share. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.